top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 10th, 2019. So, since January began, in the last 10 days, the Dow Jones Industrial Average has gained more than 2,200 points. 2,200 points, moving up sharply the last four days, looking really, really good, and banging its head right into this price resistance area. So now, what happens next? Well, this morning, we're looking at the future showing us just a little bit of a pullback, perhaps a little bit of rest. Nothing substantial. In fact, there's no fear really showing up in the market, um, so to speak. We're, we're relaxing just a little bit. And I think that's probably a good thing. If we look for a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation, and really, it kind of makes sense. We've rallied all of this, all of this way in anticipation of results coming out of U.S.-China negotiations, and um, we're hoping for a, a a resolution to the government shutdown. So as we continue to still hang around um, with this political uncertainty. Um, a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation would be a good positive thing. Now, I'm not suggesting that that is exactly what's going to happen, that we will consolidate. That's what I'd like to see happen, but the market rarely gives me exactly what I like. So let's look at the price action here, see what we've got going on here in the chart. Well, first off, we're pushing against this resistance, and you can see that the energy in the last two or three days has kind of peeled out. Um, they're just, the bull energy is kind of a little bit exhausted here. So a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback seems very warranted. And what I would suggest is that a pullback, a pullback that could come clear down into here is possible, but that wouldn't be devastating for the market. Just a little bit of rest. Another thing that could easily be the case is just a bit of, you know, just a little bit of winding consolidation in here. As we continue to work and maybe even continue to hold onto this trend, overall but just a little bit of relaxation and if you've been looking at charts here lately there are so many charts showing uh, potential bottoming patterns but they also are showing that we're really pretty overextended in the short term so a little bit of rest a little bit of pullback could provide great opportunities for some trading just something to consider Let's take a look at our moving averages. You can see that we're tucked right up against that 34 exponential moving average. A typical resting stopping area for the market um, in, a, in a comeback mode. But we could move all the way up here. If we can break through here, move all the way up here to that 50-day moving average. But let's keep in mind, if we were to rest a little while, if we were to consolidate over here for a few days, that that 50-day moving average could actually come to us move down in here to provide uh, that little bit of resistance keep in mind we still have tremendous technical damage that we have to work out here 50 below the 200 we're still in a downtrending market let's keep that in mind we are still in a downtrending market so you'll want to respect that as we move forward so a little consolidation a little rest would actually give us a great opportunity if some of these political events uh, finally start to resolve, I, I, I'm not going to hold my breath on that. It seems like um, they just keep extending this stuff and extending this stuff. But um, hopefully we can start to see some resolution to that and things start to calm down here just a little bit in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, traveling all the way back up here into this resistance area. And I'm actually going to draw another line in here. And I'm going to put this resistance zone kind of right in here. And as you can see, just this area of resistance. And you also see that the candles kind of, we lost some momentum over the last few days. So a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback does not seem to be um, a bad idea, a little concern 
consolidation. And, and again, that pullback back down into here or that little winding, um, little resting period in here as we move um, and relax a little bit in the market waiting for resolution for some of these um, political events. Let's take a look at our downtrend here and just notice that that would be pretty normal, just a little rest in here. Couldn't be all that bad, even a little pullback wouldn't hurt us at all in this market. Let's take a look at our moving averages on here and you can see once again, tucked right up against that 34 exponential moving average. So just, you know, nothing wrong here. There, um, We've had, let's face it, 2200 points in Dow Point Rally in, um, in just 10 days, that's, really remarkable uh, move back up a major recovery so now just a little bit of pause a little bit of uh, bulls taking their taking a breath here um, waiting for some new good signs in the market and, and maybe those resolution of uh, perhaps that the China trade deal or government reopening could spur those bulls to move um, a little bit more. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues have done a really good job breaking through as I have it drawn here, breaking through this downtrend line. You can see I get the most touches to this line right in here. And in this area, we could, as we, as we look at this, we could see that little bit of pullback or that little bit of resting pattern come back into here. But this is a good sign. This is what we want to see. We want to see a good, healthy market recover and a good, healthy market um, always moves up, retest support, moves up, retest support and gives us those good, clean clues of potential trend and a rally. So holding right in there, a little bit of rest would be a very good thing and maybe just what the doctor ordered. Again, moving, looking at those moving averages, we are very, very close to that 50 day moving average resistance here. Having popped through that 34 um, yesterday, showing that additional strength here in um, the queues. So we should probably um, just understand that that resistance could be a little bit difficult to move through. And we may just need to pause a little bit, gather some energy for that to occur. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also popping through this downtrend line, looking pretty good here. Let's take a look at those moving averages. Once again, IWM crossing back up through that 34 and now up there testing that 50 day moving average where we would expect possibly a little bit of resistance to occur and a little rest, a little pullback uh, would be pretty normal here. So um, nothing, nothing bad here. In fact, I think um, a little bit of calming in the market would be a great thing and could really set up some great trades. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, after a little bit of a scare yesterday morning, it picked up pretty sharply all of a sudden, but we dropped back down here as the day went on. Now below a 20 handle for the first time, oh, in a in good half a month. And we are um, showing signs that fear is really starting to drop out of the market. So as this continues to maybe move in this direction, watch these levels in here for possible support and possible places of bounce. Remember, if selling does happen to come in pretty strong and I don't expect that right now but if selling were to come in strong we could see a little bit of a lift right off of this area in that VIX but I'm not sure that would be anything to really be feared as long as we hold uh, below that level and um, see that calming effect continue to develop here um, in the market. So let's watch that close. Um, but the VIX is starting to show us signs that things are starting to calm down a little bit. That's certainly helping option prices as we see that implied volatility starting to decline a little bit, a little bit of uh, breath being taken in the market. We're calming down and uh, maybe we can see some uh, better days ahead. And I think, I think some, there's some great opportunity ahead guys. I, I really do. I think there's some great opportunity ahead. As a matter of fact, if you haven't seen the video that I posted uh, yesterday afternoon, uh, the video um, covers some repeating patterns in the market that I think everyone should know. And if you take a look at that, uh, watch that video, um, there's some great opportunities, I think, coming in this market. So you'll want to maybe pay attention to that. 
um, as as we start to settle down and, and maybe build a base or a bottom um, here in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. Whoops. T2122 is that four week new high new low ratio and you know I've been talking the last couple of days that this is is what's giving me pause and, and making me think that there should be some kind of a pullback or um, could see some selling coming into the market a little profit taking and as you can see yesterday we reached up here we we almost reached up here at one point um, that hundred level um, as you can see that's that's an extreme level um, if, if we take this back a long ways, there's only been a few times that I've recognized um, where the T2122 actually reached up there and touched 100. So you can see we've reached kind of that overbought zone for just a little bit, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we need to swing all the way back down. With the, with the volatility calming, um, we can move this back by just having a nice consolidation or just a little rest in the market this could move back into a zone that gives us more opportunity to move up so kind of keep that in mind this doesn't necessarily mean we're just going to rip all the way back down let's take a quick look it just oh by the way it just signals we should be a little bit of cautious a little bit cautious about long positions while we're in this extended zone right here let's take um, a quick look at our uh, economic calendar for today. Economic calendar has a couple things that we need to be paying attention to today. Um, first, we have jobless claims this morning. That's pretty pretty normal. Um, whether that would move us around much, I don't know. We do have Fed speakers again today uh, coming out, um, quite a few. And then we even have Jerome Powell speaking today himself. So you can see it's just a parade of Fed speakers today um, coming out to address um, interest rates. So hopefully they continue with the theme that they can take a wait and see approach here and um, just give um, a little bit of a calming effect on interest rates to the market. So let's watch that. Just a quite a parade of, of Fed speakers today to pay attention to. Um, and, and then, of course, Jerome Powell here this afternoon. Remember, we have CPI tomorrow uh, morning, so you'll want to kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look um, on the earnings calendar today. We have about 17 companies reporting earnings. Honestly, most of those companies are penny stocks. Um, really nothing in there of major interest today um, on the earnings calendar. So I wouldn't expect much there um, for the market. Right now, futures are suggesting, Dow futures are suggesting a 96 point uh, down at the open. We have been up. Um, you know, that's been varying between about, oh, 75 points down to over 100 points down uh, during the morning uh, hour. So kind of watch that close. I don't think this is a massive sell-off. Um, I'm not seeing, you know, the real fast price action um, in the futures market this morning, sh suggesting that we could see... Um, you know, just a really big sell-off uh, occur. But, you know, with all this uncertainty, that is certainly possible. So we have to remain a little bit flexible, be really focused in on that price action, and watch that closely. Hey, guys, all over the chart, all over the charts, there are stocks showing great signs of recovery. Um, um, cheaper stocks like um, SNAP, SNAP, SNAP showing us this pattern that, uh, that I describe um, in the video that I posted yesterday called the rounded bottom breakout. It is a fantastic pattern for bottoming stocks and you can see SNAP moving up here and trying to hold on to that 50 day moving average. Great price action for, for charts. We see that in lots of places right now. Um, Huntsman Chemical, beautiful beautiful potential setup here on Huntsman Chemical rallying up above that 50-day moving average notice those moving averages starting to round higher so a little bit of rest in here could set this trade up very 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 well if we look at Facebook Facebook doing the same thing getting back above that 50-day moving average looking good we're, we're just seeing tons and tons of these stocks making that recovery 
recovery uh, kind of happen in really in all sectors. Um, um, uh, first solar, first solar, um, rallying up above his 50 day moving average, trying to show a little bit of rest or consolidation may be happening in here. So we're seeing this happen everywhere. And um, we want to keep an eye on these stocks because that's even helping some of these stocks that have just started to recover way down here on the bottom and starting to put in bottoming patterns like NVIDIA. Um, if we take a look at this, maybe on an hourly, you can see that hourly round of bottom breakout has occurred here. So we're starting to see some of those recovery signals coming in the market. And here again, if we take a look, you can see that downtrend in NVIDIA has been breached to the upside. So a little rest, a little pullback, holding that pattern um, right in here. Whoops, there we go. I had that on a two-day. Um, would be a very nice thing to see, um, just breaking that downtrend and, lo and looking better. So seeing lots of bottoming patterns, lots of stocks starting to look better and better and better. So we want to keep an eye on that. Take a look at like AMD here here if we look at our moving averages here on AMD on the daily chart notice what we have here we have the 50 the 200 the 34 the 20 and the 8 exponential moving average all within a very tight space setting up a classic moving average squeeze pattern and if you notice here we have breached broke the downtrend and now we're pulling back to test um, this rally at uh, a level of support. If we can catch support in here and see buyers stepping in, those are the kind of bottoming patterns I want to look for. Those are the kind of patterns we want to see to re-engage swing trading and um, position trading. So everyone, you know, shine up those watch lists, uh, start preparing for some good potential trades. I think opportunity may be just around the corner. Let's be patient. Let's wait for it and um, be focused on that price action. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click those thumbs up buttons and um, drop those comments i truly truly appreciate that you guys can't imagine how that helps show these videos to more uh more folks those algorithms pick up those good signs and then youtube shows the video to more people so thank you so much for those who do that and then also please feel free to share this video with any friends and family with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and i will talk to you bright and early friday morning have a good one Thank <smart noise> you.